A behind the scenes look at a building that's recently been in many local headlines. Portage Manor was built in 1906 and many in the community singing praises about the staff. But according to Board of Commissioners President Carl Baxmeyer, repairs have long been needed. What is it like when you walk through those buildings and you see the condition that some of these areas are in? Well, you see a beautiful old building architecturally. Um, it's discouraging when you see the deterioration that has been allowed to occur. Outside and inside, you can see bricks falling away from the walls and concrete ceilings and pillars deteriorating. There's leaky pipes, so you can see many emergency clamps keeping it contained. The boiler room isn't salvageable and would need to be demolished. In the attic, insulation covers the floor along with a few dead birds that got in and would require a lot of work before it could be livable for any residents. But when you're dealing with a building that was built in 1906, you're going to have issues that that just were not thought of. And uh, were not a concern back when when the building was originally designed. If the building was renovated, Baxmeyer says it would have to be brought up to code, including a fire suppression system and call buttons. Those weren't a requirement when it was built. Baxmeyer says the county has been looking into this for years. All the work that would need to be done would cost approximately $12 million, with a new facility costing between 35 and 40 million. While the commission previously voted to close Portage Manor, Baxmeyer says he's open to new proposals for the longtime care facility. We don't want to be in the business of operating Portage Manor. We don't operate um, residential care facilities. That's not what the county should do. So there's going to have to be a, if, if this is to continue, there's going to have to be an outside operator to take it over and uh, manage it.